Leon S. Kennedy. Claire Redfield. Steve Burnside? Uh, well, okay, that's not amazing um, at all. But you know what is amazing? Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. Um, should have been... Well, okay, it wasn't amazing sales-wise, and a lot of people were pissed we got another light gun shooter on the Wii when everyone wanted an RE4-style shooter that used the IR sensor, and then they just didn't make it because Capcom back then was making all of the wrong choices all of the wrong times. Um, but I still like these light gun shooters at the end of the day, and we are playing this on Matt's Nightmares, and what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing the full Resident Evil Code Veronica scenario in this. Resident the, the Dark Side Chronicles. Um, because I think the uh, Code Veronica scenario in Dark Side is actually really, really good. It actually improves upon the general flow of Code Veronica in interesting ways. It's got some cool boss fights that they they definitely try to change it up, and it's actually really good in in terms of desolating uh, the entirety of Code Veronica. This is the game of oblivion. Um, and it takes the, the best bits and just kind of makes them even more entertaining in that roller coaster style way that the the uh, Umbrella Chronicles style light gun shooters sort of did. Um, I remember being really impressed with it. So I know what you're saying here. Take Steve because Steve's hilarious. No, 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 no. Take Claire because Claire's awesome. But you take Claire so that you can always see Steve because uh, for those that may not know, uh, they've never played any of these games that you always have an AI partner. They never really do much. Um, it's meant for two-player co-op, but your AI partner can do some things. You can see them uh, bumble around and muck it up. Uh, so that's why we're going to take Claire. That's one reason we're going to take Claire, because Claire became like a bona fide action hero in Code Veronica. So here's our gun set up. Uh, I have a rocket launcher, one shot. I have grenade grenados, which is cool. Um... But I'm going to stick with this setup. I'm happy. My shotgun's been pretty upgraded and stuff. Uh, so we're going to do this. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, I've been wanting to do uh, a Matt Side Chronicle uh, for a while because I really... I, was I salty that we didn't get like a, uh, like a side story that... Oh, all right, here we go. And sustained by a greed for power. Man, that's not relevant today. In the foundation of a oh, jeez. The Ashford family had also independently performed research on the virus. We're going to do our own research on the Veronica virus. 15 years ago, Alexander Ashford disappeared under And we'll never know where he went. To make things worse, Alexander's daughter, Alexia, a child prodigy, played a key role in the research. She's like she eight and she's age. fucking doing it. Not, Not to say eight-year-olds can't do that, but also eight-year-olds can't do that. And the umbrella files show that all research was apparently lost. The Ashford umbrella got really fucking angry. Power to the corrupt all this money and research and all these weird bases. Alexia's brother, Alfred, was demoted to a mere supervisor. <laughs> Alfred. A private detention facility on an isolated island in the Southern Seas, alone. I feel like this year may be special, don't you, Alexia? Okay, they did change up the it's voice acting like for this, I forgot. Forgetting. Something Alexia. I'm forgetting. Please be easy on yourself. Why don't you set down your burdens and play a game with me? Oh, delicious. What type of game? Perhaps Fortnite? Since you've come back, I've never been this happy. Like, they did spend money on these FMVs for these light gun shooters. I'll give them that. Like, no one gave Alfred... He's, like, he's the master of this whole island, and they're not like, Oh, we have some people on the radar. Radar friends are coming. They're bombing the fuck out of us. Damn it. Which way? Wait! I wasn't trying to escape. I just... The alarm sounded and the door unlocked. I thought... That I... Sounds like Sam Rigel. Two six seven. <laughs> Guess you're not with Umbrella, then, are you? Aren't you? What the Red fuck was that subtitle? Damn girl, you scared me. Eyes forward. <laughs> so, what's your name? I pissed my pants. <laughs> Can't you tell he's a Resident Evil protagonist? Look at him. Look at his hair. They get you too. 
Yeah. You could say. So this is definitely fast forwarded. We we skipped over all of Claire's escape, which kind of sucks, but I guess the zombiness only really happens like at this point in the game. Here's my little cursor. I have a shotgun, I have a handgun, I got some machine gun, and I got my granados as previously mentioned. So you can shoot a lot of bullshit in these games to unlock various whatevers. Umbrella files, money, you need money to um, level up your weapons. Which is weird. There is a zombie right there, Claire! So I'm definitely going to talk about some of the gripes I have with this particular uh, entry. Kill or be killed! Um, and I didn't shoot anybody there for a really good reason, because it's really hard to shoot things accurately in Darkseid Chronicles specifically, um, because there's so much fucking camera shake. Way too much. And it's one of the things that holds us back from being like an absolute superior sequel to Umbrella Chronicles, which I feel had camera shake, but it was never this bad. Like, th this actually hampers your shooting it. There's only a couple of moments in each level where you're 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 steady enough. Okay, good, got that gold. Your your aim is steady enough. I wish they would at least let you change it in the options to reduce camera shake. Yeah, this is where I was locked up. It doesn't bother me like in terms of making me feel nauseous or anything like that, but it does bother me in that it like makes shooting harder than it fucking should be. There's some information. Using my pistol because it's it's infinite. Uh, if you ever want to unlock shit and uh, uh, find anything in the environment, uh, always use the pistol, obviously. So it sucks that even though I fucking blew his head off almost, uh, he's probably going to come back because Resident Evil. Like, the game really tries to immerse you with, like, a very shaky cam sort of feeling, and it does feel a lot more. There's a zombie right there, Claire. It was moving. Shit. Not again. Huh? There you go. Classic uh, Code Veronica gag right there. It's probably the, the first one of the game that was actually scary. Those sounds are just... Those are just, like, gr slimy gurgles. There should be tons of zombies in here. Pick up that shit. Shoot everything you can. That porno mag. Love it. Oh, it's a mess, but... There's some gold. Oh, God. So like I said before, the more gold you get, uh, that's how you upgrade your weapons, like all their capacities. It's one of the things I really like about this series. There's some more. Oh, there's tons of fucking collectibles in there. I feel it. I feel the Resident Evil collectibles in my brain. There you go. Oh, even more. Now, I'm shooting a lot of that stuff. That? It should not work. I think it was just the wind. Look, what are you trying it to wasn't out, fucking anyway? Steve. Uh. That's not so Steve isn't delightfully as cheesy as he was in the original game. They they changed his voice actor to be a slightly too competent, unfortunately. Oh, there should be the bunks. to deal with this girl's power trip on top of everything else. Oh, fuck off, Steve. She's been through so much shit. You don't know nothing about her. Oh man. Oh man. What was it? Just blood? Are we scared of blood, Steve? You're not gonna survive long in here if you're scared of fucking blood. Oh, I really wanted to get that light. Fortunately, you can't move the camera around even a little. In Dead Space Extraction, which is another good light game, like gun shooter on the Wii, you could uh, move the camera around in certain segments and... I love that game too, actually. I got a stupid umbrella file, that umbrella just leaves. There's that camera shake I'm talking about. Now you can shoot, as long as you have your reticle out, you can almost shoot any enemy. That's how you get some of the higher scores, because even if the game is not allowing you to have an optimal time to shoot an enemy, if you do get them, um, uh, it just ups your score. 
Uh, there'll be times where the characters are the meant not to really shoot guys and they just kind of look around at the environment very quickly or they try some other escape route. You can shoot the enemies during these sections and it's what gives you the most optimal score at the end of the game to get S ranks, which of course um, lets you get even more money and it just feeds into upgrading all your shit. Uh, I want that. Usually, usually light bulbs and such Tons of fucking goodies in there. Umbrella shoves lots of important files about BOWs inside light bulbs. Why not give them a oh hand? god. So that that's what I'm talking about. Like it really didn't let me get the best angle to shoot that zombie. Alright god, at least that went well. See, look, they're gonna do all this fucking shit. So that's that's zombie barf juice, which is which is very weird, I guess. For like, I'm sure they felt like, oh shit, we should probably just have some type of projectile, just to oh fuck, man, that's the first big damage of the game. What the fuck was that, Steve? So, even though they changed the voice actor to be better, they sure didn't change the script to be much better. It's a good thing I destroyed that, that barf by shooting it. I don't know how, but we killed them all. I don't know how we did it. Probably with guns, Claire. Probably with guns. Ah, there's some more money. See, look at that. That together, that's 380, 400, uh, 504. That's actually a lot of uh, gold juice. Umbrella probably doesn't know where he is either. What did he do? Amazing camera placement, Capcom. I don't know. Or Cavia. Cavia made this actually. Developed it. There's those Lugers that Steve seems to uh, favor. I broke into one of Umbrella's labs, but I got caught. And you were sent here. What about you? What's your story? Oh, I'm like this whiny bitch. <laughs> Just tell me. I didn't even see anything. Some other jackass. I'm not even supposed to be here. Two of us in here. Not me. Steve Burnside didn't screw up. So we're in the southern hemisphere. Yeah. So you don't know much about this place, do you? Apparently some noble family owned the joint. The Ashfords. That's Alfred. He's the only surviving member. Rumor has it, he went mad from loneliness. But why would I... Uh, I'm ever so lonely. Place? Anyway, I've got to contact Leon. He'll come for us. He'll already for his way over here. Steve hates this shit. Need a quick change there. Okay, well you're 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 over there. Let's destroy this PC that sorry, sorry, Steve, I have to pick up that umbrella file. You don't know how important those are. We don't know where it goes. Well, you gotta try, Steve. So, um, and again, for anyone that hasn't played these games, uh, getting the sweet spot in the headshot is what always kind of blows up heads. Um, I really like these sections of the game that use um, flashlights. I think it looks great. I'm like, I'm playing this on on my actual Wii, not on the Wii U, not emulating it. I think the game is quite a looker, especially, I mean, obviously for the Wii. Um, but I love these flashlight segments. They always look quite spooky. But he'll he'll he might get up. I kind of tend to forget if they do or not. Let's take our time. Looks like it's not just oh, doglets. I'm sorry, but they're horrible and skinless. But like I said before, even skinless good boys are the goodest of boys. You're right. Let's go. See that guy was way down there. You could. Ugh. Oh bad, 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 bad. One thing I wish you could do in this game is that if you've committed to um, 
reloading a gun and the shotgun's reload is obviously very not great. Um, you're committed to it. You can't, like, switch to another weapon, which I wish you could at least do that. Let me cancel our reload animations by switching to another weapon, which is faster than waiting for them, but still puts me at a slight disadvantage. I think that would have been a better balance because it's actually really frustrating. All right, there should be some naked zombie. There, there's one. The graveyard zombies. We like to party. We like to party naked zombie style. Gotta pick up that gold. And of course, coupled with the screen shake and zombies moving, moving left and right like that. Um, I just kind of find Umbrella Chronicles didn't nearly have this problem. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, God knows I probably am, but I, I do think that was the case. See you, losers. Just, just madly pressing A on things. Yeah, I can't shoot through those little holesies. Alright, that was a cutscene. Yeah, I can't shoot anything during this, obviously. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh god. The Ashford's number one duet. The creepy Ashford family song. Sing Look What You Made Me Do! It would be oddly appropriate! Play Freebird! Wait! What are you gonna do? She must be out of her mind singing a lullaby at a time like this. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That's why I can't leave her out here all alone. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I should have just left you alone, too. Wow. Ah. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. There you go. Yeah, you can hit them like that just as they're getting up, which is cool. This way. Ah, uh, because there's lots of instances when zombies do do that. Just give me a minute. Did you hear that? It's really early. Sounds like. Of course, we're gonna use be using a really annoying mechanic also in this game. Ooh, there's gold. That's or something. So this is just me moving a knife incredibly fast in front of my own eyeballs. God, I want a bat so bad. I'm not mean bats, but I want like one of those flying dog bats. Just keep doing this. Never stop. Never stop using my eye knives to cut. They'll be back. They've only started their campaign of terror against us. Oh shit. I mean, I've leveled up my shotgun, like, reload speed too. It's awful. Here they come again. Bats. The sharks of the sky. I'm not sure if this is even hitting them. I don't... The bat wave. See, these parts of the game I could, I could do without. They're, they're really kind of stupid. Never stop. If I could use a rocket... You're not even looking at it, Steve! You weren't even looking at it. Ah... That jump scare scared the bats. Steve has problems trusting people. We'll we'll see that probably come up a little bit later. That woman. I wonder where she went. I won't be surprised. We don't know, and I, I don't think we'll ever know. Or anything else I can shoot her at. Oh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Let's go straight. Hopefully this will lead us off the island. Oh, God, again. 
<laughs> bats. What? Oh, it's obvious. I don't have time for this. <laughs> oh. Ah, fuck. See, it, it is kind of frustrating not to be able to shoot sometimes in scenarios. All uh, right, you can see the you can see the big dick energy bats that are like, oh, I can do it. I'm gonna try to use a few more grenades. Big gold over there. Um, I always like this lead up in regular code Veronica of getting into this uh, mansion. I really like this general area. I don't know why. That was a good shot, actually. See? So they're running, so I can't really do much here. I mean, I can, but... Alright, need a green herb. Ah, we can catch our breath. Surely there won't be a bunch of Cerebus' heads coming out of there. Some money. Oh, I saw some more gold over there. Some more money. Oh, there's an umbrella file! Fucking love that shit, it's so stupid. What's that noise? Oh, you shoot any paintings you can too? Well, that one's too big to shoot, but. It's locked. Ah, fuck. Well, we saw one, you idiot! Stupid bow gun, which I don't want to use. I'm sure everyone will be telling me it's the best weapon in the game, but I don't like it. That was cool. I never actually played in the gun survivor games, and I've always heard they're terrible, but... And you need a light gun to play them. And this collection of, of Umbrella Chronicles and Darkseid Chronicles did come out on the PS3. I do wish they would port it to the PS4 just because it's the only way you could sort of do it because Wiimotes aren't compatible with the Switch. But if you just ported the PS3 versions to the PS4, just put them on 1080 and just allow you to use the move controllers like because you can already use them for uh, the PS VR, I would, I would like that. I would play through, me, I, play through them again on PS4. Now, okay, it's great. It's a great painting. Amazing likeness. She was part of the Ashford family? It says here she died. I don't think right? that she couldn't That's be. 15 years ago. But we saw her. In this world of zombies, are you really surprised by this shit, you two dolts? <laughs> uh oh. Feels like there's an item I can get right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe Give me that money. I want to pick up that whatever it is. Yeah, umbrella file. Fuck yeah. I don't know. It's really fun to collect those for whatever fucking reason. Oh, so many goodies. Oh, I'm loving this. So, smartly, these light gun shooters throw out all the worst parts of Resident Evil, which is, of course, the puzzles. Everyone hates them. Everyone just wants this franchise to turn into a shooter. That's what we all like, so. Yeah! Look at that! Just shoot up the screen. So, I this is, I think... I don't remember if that's the exact same FMV from the or original Code Veronica. I think they might just be playing it there. That Let boy. me know in the comments below Alfred? in the YouTubes if this is just the recycled Code Veronica FMV in the game. Because that's pretty cool. Doing? They're doing creepy kid stuff. I think we've seen enough to know that this isn't a good idea. Some more money. Yeah. I think it's time to I love how Steve's not flinchy, even though I'm shooting around his eyeballs and face. And his face balls. So those are back up. I don't know if that was a ghost. But 
They're a little too close for comfort. Yeah! How much is that? That is 380. I Hopefully I, I get a decent amount of uh, money when all the, when this scenario is done. That's that's more. I guess the money is replenishing. Whoa! I am Alfred. That's a cool shot. Son of Alexander Ashford. That's him. Man about town. Call me Mr. Belvedere for short. Was it you? Was it you who spread that? Wretched virus across my island? That's got nothing to do with us. Look, we all need to get out of here right now, okay? Mm. Outta. <laughs> she is only just now returning. Biggest fools. Foolishly fools doing foolish things. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? Who? You mean Alexia? <laughs> She of course! Did enjoy playing games. And she has come up with the most splendid game for us to play. Games? If you survive our challenge... Games? Like mobile games? As your prize. Ready? That key could be to anything. There's no reason to trust them. So that's actually a really cool fight in the in the normal game, like the console version. But uh, and, and it's kind of fun in this version as well. But where'd he go? Like I think this game would be pretty awesome in in, in PSVR as well. Yeah, these kind of QTEs for for boss fights mostly. Oh, I'm so bad shot. He doesn't have a, a boss life bar, so you know that means this is more going to be of a cinematic thing. Steve, I'm not going to die here. <laughs> You're doing so well, my little rats. You son of a! Stop! <laughs> he called them little rats, and Steve just flies off the handle. Barf! That's some money! That's money! And I, I guess Alfred just melted into the walls. Ah, the training field. I hope we fight the Albanoid. I kind of forget if we do in this version of the game. Albanoid, one of the best boss creatures in all of Resident Evil. You mean that place? You can't trust him. You mean him. that place where we met trapped. that man? I know. No, we should trust him. But I don't think we have much choice here. Uh. We either stay here and possibly die, or catch him and find out how to get off this island. Anyone remembers uh, Sam Raggle? Um, he's done lots of voice voiceovers. Right. He was uh, Peter Parker Let's in the Amazing Spider-Man games. I think he was Flynn in Tales of uh, Vesperia, and I'm sure he's in some animes and some other anime-like games that I I forget. He's also Donatello in um, the 2003 version of Ninja Turtles. Uh, I think he's a cool dude. I do like these quiet moments of the game where nothing's happening. Um, it's kind of weird to have it in a light gun shooter, but let's try this. Oh, that was aimed poorly. Because even if they're not in my way, uh, that counts as kills for your final score. Oh, didn't seem to really kill anybody. Whatever. What? What? Where? Where? Oh! What was that? 
Hunter X Hunters. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Sorry, I really need that. Well, that was a good shot. Oh, get fucked! That, that was an OTG. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Man, hunters are cool. I can't wait to see them in the R2 remake. You know, as 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 cool as Resident Evil 7 was, I was missing a lot of the cool like <laughs> wave the remote. So you can see that there's a third person character model that's that's in play somewhere in the game. Um, and if people recall, there is a Resident Evil 2 remake being made by fans like two or three years ago, and their uh, thing was to take this game and like pull all of its its code out and then use the character models and remake RE2 that way, uh, because they have the RE2 scenario in this game as well. Um, and that's a pretty cool way to go about it, but Capcom was like, how about, how about don't do that? Um, and they're like, okay, fine. And I believe they're the group that's making Daymare. So I want to talk a bit about uh, Resident Evil uh, Umbrella Chronicles versus this a bit more. Uh, it's a, like, I don't think I one version is better than the other. They both kind of have their own flaws. So one of the things is that this game has really good scenarios. It has RE2 and uh, Code Veronica. It's, it's a new campaign, the Javier um, incident or whatever that takes place in South America, that has RE4, Leon, and Jack Krauser working together. That's awesome. Um, and it's a much better scenario, I, I find, overall, than the one that was in uh, Umbrella Chronicles, which was uh, Chris and Jill in Russia. Uh, I was not really a fan of that one. So there's that. Th this game has, I think, overall better scenarios, because that one also has... You know, Resident Evil 3, uh, 1, and 0, and 0 is kind of the weak link there, and, and 3 is as well to me. Um, that being said, the boss fights in Umbrella Chronicles is, are much better. They're much more elaborate, there's, there's a lot more going on, and they're a bit more fun. And coupled with that aiming issue with this screen shake that I think is kind of a, a, a problem, there's that. Um, so they all, but this game also graphically, I think, looks a bit better. So I don't know. There's there's lots of shit that that each game does right and each game does not so right. Um, and so I think like if you're ever to play these, like play them both because it's it's worth it. There's a, it, there's a great Resident Evil thrill ride there. I have made it large dark. You're super afraid of most things, Steve. Ah! So I've destroyed all the phones. Ah! So shotgun, now very good. That was even from fairly long range away. Let's take our time, kids. Okay, no money, unfortunately. I don't know where the fuck they came from. Well, yeah, I knew you guys were always coming. Kill Mike Meekins there. Hopefully that killed them. I don't know. So strong. That was a fun section. No, it's not. That's a huge lie. Let's go up. I guess it's our only choice. So yeah. It's Thanks awesome. for the fucking super solid. Oh no! The, the worst shot in the world. <laughs> it's just no fun if you hide. Come on out. I promise not to kill you. Just yes. Right. Oh, Alfred's so devilish. This guy 
guy's begging to get his ass kicked. <gasps> <laughs> so are you, Steve. So are you. Again, Alfred doesn't have a uh, life bar, so... Whoops. Uh... <laughs> It's called a grenade! What is that? Some type of fruit? Possibly a tomato! Come on, Steve. I'm not letting you get away! Okay. These guys are such cheesy morons. I got it! I picked up some grenades. Steve, please! You don't have to tell me. You got no chill, dude! Look at that Castlevania back there. Why is a girl gonna yell at me? I don't like that. Like already. Oh, there, I need that. So, uh, what first aid sprays do is, like, as long as you have one in possession, it's basically uh, an extra life. Um, it just resurrects you from. It's like a phoenix down that automatically happens. Oh, I thought he was dead for a second. Now he's fucking dead. <laughs> Help me out there. Whoa! That guy, that guy got me. We can't take them all one by one. Let's move. Hopefully, welcome to the training center. And uh, I need first uh, first aid sp first herb sprays. I need uh, I have to manually uh, use um, first aid sprays. Training facility. Ah shit! This I want to pick that up. Needs his head examined. Come on, pick that up. Pick that up. What was it? All right. Uh, that's gren uh, grenade launcher ammo, I think. Don't let it provoke me. As Steve gets his asshole provoked in every possible way. Both in this and the RE2 scenario, like, they they made uh, Claire, like, they rewrote the script a bit so that Claire is, like, a little bit more confident than, like, Leon. Leon's still kind of... Uh, naive, even though he's just using his tough ass RE4 looking model, he's just like, Oh, no, I'm sure that woman's okay, referring to Ada. And she's like, No, she's obviously in on shit. He's like, Nah. Uh, so they kind of do the same here with Claire, but I paired against Steve, she's right about everything. Hello, Bandersnatch! You don't want to get near this snatch. Ouch! Oh, yeah! Banner snatches are cool. Yeah! Evil spirits. Yeah, right. By the way, my lady. Thanks. She's not having it. Plus, you didn't kill him. I did. But the game doesn't really take that shit into account, so it's fine. Now, <laughs> almost got you. Empty wall. Not much to shoot in here. You can see me trying. To get anything going. Very basic room. How do you like that, huh? You damn freak! Is that all you got? Are you done? Or you got some more? More for my little rat. This island is messed up. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do, Steve. I just can't forgive what's that happened. shit's fucking weird. I can't forgive what's happened here. So any light fixture that you see that has this little metal grill on it, that means you usually can't shoot it, but it's worth a shot. The kill house. Hell fast. This place. It sure doesn't look like a like this is what Alfred does with his time. This is insane. 
I mean, it actually sort of does. The war's changed. I think. Gigantic fucking herb right in my eyes. You know, if Alfred just left one poison herb just out and about, the heroes would grab it, eat it, and then die. Steve, we'll do whatever it takes to get through this, okay? I'm uncomfortable in these types of uh, uh, houses, the ones that are just all like uh, boards and stuff. Like you see it in a lot of military games, the training facilities kind of look like this. I don't really like it. It's very scary to me. guy's crazy. He's probably up to something real nuts again. Yeah, you're right. We should be careful. Yeah, no, yes, he's probably up to something that's weird. But should we really climb up? What if there's a hunter that'll just eat our heads off? Aw, oh, damn it. Do you really think that would have killed us, though? I mean, it might have crushed our spinal column like Worf, but it could have been empty, too. We're not really sure. It's not that, it's not that bad! <laughs> Sometimes we'll just say random shit that has no context with what other people are saying in the scene. It's great. Steve! Wow, this zombie seems more important than the others. Why is that? You got me, kid. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really have a good chance. He is... was... my father. He's my zombie what? dad. He worked for Umbrella. Nobody, just another face in the crowd. He was a rat. A mole. He tried to leak some data, make some quick cash. But they caught him. Just a little bit of data, not a lot. Just leak a little. And then they took me. Steve. It was his fault. He was stupid. He was. He's just trying to hustle, man. Let's go. So there's Steve's character development. Yeah. Sure, I got nothing better to do. <laughs> Ooh, splendid. But first, how about a little brain teaser? The girl and boy. Yes. Oh, please. I could use a mind workout. Girl and boy. What? Hey, this is like gun shooter outfit. I'll have to do this shit. Uh oh. Just spin around like an idiot. Graboids! It's literally graboids. So there we have our boss. Boss meter. Yo, that was good damage. They're coming out of the goddamn ground, Steve! <laughs> By spinning, that's a good trick. 
So, because he doesn't have his boss meter up, that's not the time to shoot him. Assuming he wouldn't actually take damage there. We'll never... It's in the ground! Oh, he sure didn't like that, though. There it is. Oh, get fucked! <laughs> Amazing. Nine point five. Okay. So you notice how it has no boss mirror now? It's just I, I guess this is just a show Bodhi fight. So I, I have over a thousand bullets on my submachine gun, so I guess we can use some of that. And it's back. With more health than before. God damn it, you <laughs> All right, are we dead now? I feel like you might have learned something from this encounter, Graboid. Yeah, I took care of his little pet. Steve's probably gonna kick it or like elbow drop it. I took care of it, Steve. I. Nice. I attacked this island upon hearing the news of an awakening. Okay, but it seems sure. it was oh, there. Tense. Oh no! Steve! Who is it? Though, ironically, I feel you will lead me to the truth regardless. Chris's little sister. You're nothing more than a coward! Show yourself, damn it! Um, where are you coming from? He... he mentioned my brother's name. Who was that? Hmm... I don't yeah, why would Steve know? <laughs> oh shit. That guy fucking had TNT, it's dynamite. I don't remember that enemy at all. Like, his head is even twitching every time it's, I shoot him. Fuck you. It's Veronica. The Veronica uh, I almost got it. I can't. I can't remember anymore. My head is ready to explode. Alexia. What? So hard on yourself, brother. We can still have much fun playing our game. <laughs> They're not hearing any of this. Did you hear that? Yeah, she is alive after all. I knew something was wrong. Let's finish this. We're silent intruders. Where'd they go? Whoa, huh, huh. Nobody's here. Destroy their possessions, that's where I'm going. No one look at that. Let me look downward so I can shoot things, Sire. Somewhere. Maybe. Yeah! Let's look for one. Let, let's look for one. What the hell was that? Oh, 
Oh yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Oh cool, when I shot at all the lights now I get the uh the thing. Flashlight. Sure is. How would they how did they ever find our secret lair? Why would he need these? Oh! I mean, to be fair, we shot them mostly, all of the toys, so maybe he doesn't really have them anymore. There are some toys. Shoot everything. This doesn't for look fun, this Claire! It's just a toy. Isn't he too old for toys? No one is too old for toys, Claire. It's very, very uh, short-sighted thoughts. So I can't, even though I'm shooting her in the face. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking a while to pop out. Oh fuck. Get your ass out here. Why did I even get that money? That was weird. I mean not that I'm complaining. Here. I'm gonna try. Everyone disrespects him. Well, this is a little drawn out, isn't it? Okay, there you go. Oh no! No one suspected. My cool poster of that ant anime I like. They'll never look for me in there. So Alfred was playing two roles all by himself. He couldn't bear the fact that his sister was dead. All right. Well, I mean, anyone that knows anything about Code Veronica, that's not really a uh, new thing. What is this key for? I guess we'll find out when we reach Ugh. the airport. Oh, just win all cash out there, huh, Steve? But you did remind me of one very important thing. I no longer need these toys. What now? The soul control system has been activated. Except for that poison statue. That Matt bought. Of course the self-destructed sequence has been activated. Like playtime's over. Resident Evil loves to say that playtime is over. It's one of their favorites. Okay. God, bats are gonna be back. Royal Bat Authority in full force out here, I bet. Maybe grenades, sure. You did? Yeah, is, is that real death? Or is that fake death? Fake, fake death. Oh, come on! I was shooting you full in the face. <laughs> Alright, you really didn't want to die. Finally! They're throwing things! That was weird. This one banner snatch like, oh shit, I missed everything! I might as well just start throwing rocks, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. Jeez, I've been spending too much ammo on this. Alright, that should be enough. Oh fuck. Oh that was that was so lucky and clutchy. Oh it's it's just sounded really disappointed. Okay, yeah, the final sprint to, uh, you know, evacuation is always going to be fraught with everything. Just going, oh, I don't can't let you leave. I didn't get any good hits in, though, so. Take our time. He'll never know we were here. There you go. We're in a fucking hurry, Claire and Steve. Oh, a lot of shit. God, how many times have you been in this room? Umbrella, yeah, yeah. Where the fuck did you come from? You came from the light gun space outside the screen, huh? Wow, that looked that looked janky as shit. Not gonna lie to you. Whoa! Yeah, we're gonna shoot them all, because they're hunters. Ah, oh, fucking shit. He we shot it. them all. Alright, let's just leave! I think the game thinks there's more to be shot, but I shot everything. Okay. This is all to start the sequence, you guys. <laughs> Pathetic. These incredibly hard to kill creatures that have superhuman jumping ability and strength. Oh my god, Steve. We don't have time to play with dolls. The airport's this way. Are you sure? Trust Boss. So out of nowhere, this tyrant just shows up. Shit! Another one of his foot soldiers? How do you like that? Oh, I got smacked around there. Run! Agree more. Could agree more. I mean, I could agree more, but I'm not gonna. We learned that the Yeah. Thank you, Claire. He has no more health bar, so. I didn't think we could actually defeat him. Don't let your guard down just yet. Oh, I let my guard down lots of times. Let's hurry. This is our way off this island. I guess Al uh, uh, Albert. I guess uh, Alfred wasn't lying about that boat. <laughs> I knew you would lead me to the truth. Aw, shit. Okay, now we get the hell off this. So we're line. almost done the game. It's so like. Claire, there's no reason to touch his hand. <laughs> 